bad. Not bad at all. There is a little mark there, but it's on the inside of where the gasket goes, so I don't think it's anything too crucial. Let's just try the gasket. I'm going to put this in the parts washer, so don't worry about that. Yeah, you see there, look? There's a little mark just... There's a little mark just here. But that's inside the gasket. All the gasket area is good. I'm going to give you a little word of warning now. If this is pitted, uh, it's very tempting to put, take it to a machine shop and machine it down to good metal. Not really, because when you machine this down, this will go closer to the block and the pulley will not be in line. Just bear that in mind. Sometimes you can get away with it by putting a couple of gaskets behind here, but then you will re reduce your water pump efficiency. It is better to weld them up, TIG weld them up, machine them down, re-drill the holes, you you'll be fine. But don't be tempted to machine them, you know, straight down. Because, it, like I say, it puts everything out of line. I'm going to clean up the block in the same fashion. Uh, that's that. Oh, well, you see, there's always a bit of residual water because that's its lowest point now. So I'm going to I'm going to drop down the the uh, coolant a bit more because now I can actually get to the the bung under here. Oh, that's no, ten mil, isn't it? I've got sockets everywhere now. Where's that one? Another finch. Try that. I had a 13 mil one somewhere kicking about. I think it fell up front. Mm -hmm. I'll just drop a little bit out there. You can see now the water level's dropped down here. So we'll tighten up the bung, clean up that face and inspect. You know, I just wonder if if somebody's changed the water pump and not tightened up the bolts properly. I want to change the water pump gasket anyway. No, that block face looks remarkably good. There's no marks on that at all. Hmm. Well, we'll clean it all up and we'll have a look. The face here is cleaned up beautifully. But I've gone round with the 8mm tap and tapped out all the holes to get rid of any silicone, debris, rust or anything like that. And you can see there that they were quite plugged up, so that was perhaps a good idea. I'll blow them out in a minute. But one thing I want to show you is when you've got these 300 TDIs, if, if there was the reason why we dropped the water down, there could be water settling inside these threads here, especially at the bottom. The top one's not so bad, but this one, if you have water, oil, or anything in there, silicone, the casting is just be, finishes just behind that bolt there. And you can hydraulic that and actually bang, bang out the back of the casting. It is extremely thin. All right, so just be aware of that. And if you're doing one of these things, if you feel it's cracked in there, well, you can almost forget it because water's going to come up through the thread and through the side here. I've seen it before. It puzzled me before. That's why I always inspect things, and that's why I always drop the levels down. So I'm going to blow, blow those out, and then... I'm going to put this through the parts washer and um, well, a little ultrasonic thing, my jig. Spin these bolts off here and change the gasket. Why am I changing the gasket? Because I've disturbed it, right? And I can, and I've got one, and I want to use them up. Hey, <laughs> got to make a living, you know. Uh, so we'll put this in for about half an hour, see if it'll tidy up a bit. We'll see what happens then. But in the meantime, I'm going for a refreshing cup of tea. 
I've just taken this out of the ultrasonic, it's cleaned up nice, it's a bit stained but at least all the oil's off. I've already cleaned off this face here, that's looking nice, let's turn this light down a bit, that's better. Next, I've taken the water pump off, it's got a bit of sandpaper on a block, nice soft block. Make sure there's no pits or anything in there, we're going to blow all this lot off later. We want to make sure that surface is flat. There's a little bit of pit in there, but I think the gasket will take care of that. Same goes for the water pump. Just give it a quick rub around. Make sure there's no bits of gasket on it. Like that. Now, things to inspect, because we've always got to inspect things. We've got to make inspect the water pumps okay. Make sure this bit's not rusted, and this is the reason why we use uh, coolant, because it's got anti-corrosive in it. Make sure there's no pits in here. Like I say, we've got a little bit in there, but it's more of a stain than a pit. Um, <clears throat> make sure we've got no stains coming out of here, because if there's any water stains coming out of here, uh, it's usually a sign of a, a pump leaking. Um, other than that, it's not too bad. Don't be tempted, like I said, to put two gaskets in these because what happens is the distance between the impeller here and the body in here is crucial. And you, you know, you, you can actually, uh, by putting a thicker gasket on, can make that gap bigger and the pump won't pump properly. Because when a pump pumps, it sucks in here and it blows out that way, if you see what I mean. If, if the gap's too big, if it's moved out like this, it can't create any suction. It's very important. So I'm just going to blow that off. If I can find me a good leave with that. Now, so this is just assembling this bit, and I'll talk about something else in a minute. And like I say, when it's come out of the parts washer, make sure all these threads are clean, tidy, no water in these holes at all. Alright, so with that. Now, this is the important bit. I'll just blow this off while I've got it here. Right, what's that? These three holes here are the crucial holes that hold the, um, the, the, this housing close to the block. And these weren't very tight at all. But water can seep up through these holes through a gasket and make a lot of corrosion in there and then once they're in there and they're tight you can snap the bolts now I'll show you where the bolts snap if I've got them there. when the bolts snap they will snap here right close to the block not good so a little tip I'll tell you once we've got it all in but before we do that we're going to Put the pump on. I'm going to get me die nut. Spin all that rubbish off. Spin them all off and clean them all off. Do it for everyone. And then we're going to assemble this pump. Now I'm just going to get a little bit of high lamar on this gasket, save a bit of time, and I'll, we'll come back. So now we've got some uh, gasket material. I've put some blue high lamar on that gasket. Because it's paper, it'll soak in and make it a bit softer. So that's that done. We have our pump, and the pump's good. We're going to pop that on, like that. And like I say, we've made sure that these holes are all nice and clean. You know, these ones here. Let's move that across there so we can see. Yeah, so these ones are clean. Now we're going to put the bolts in the. Um, I'll put that top back on that high of the bar, otherwise it's that dry now. We're just going to brush the lightest bit of thread uh, guard on these bolts here. Not those ones. <laughs> these ones here. I turned it upside down, didn't I? Put it up Take that look. And like I say, the reason for changing it is now when we disturb the bolts coming out of here, we could have disturbed the gasket when we took this off. So it's wise to put another gasket on. That bolt doesn't go in there, does it? Because I've got I'm working upside down. This bracket goes on here. Like 
Again, a little bit of... And like I said, we've blown it out so we know, and look how easy it is to put those bolts in. It's really easy now, isn't it? Just a splash. Now we're not going to tighten those down, we're just going to sort of run them down. Never tighten all the bolts up until you've got the, all the bolts in place. I've seen a lot of guys make that mistake. On these bolts here we're going to do full thread uh, anti-seize. We're not going to take any chances at all. It will help preserve the bolts and uh, when somebody wants to take it out next time. Now, you see how easy those drop into there? Not a problem. Now what I was going to describe to you earlier was that if you start to turn these bolts when it's on the car and the, you can feel them starting to go like I said to you earlier, they'll snap here that's the last thing you want. In dire, in dire straits, if you want to get back and off the round, in times gone by, what I've done is I've uh, drilled the heads off, taken the head off completely. You can't get a grinder in, but drill the head here, right through with an 8mm drill so that it snaps off. So then what you can do you can prise off the water pump, you can get these bolts off, you can prise off the water pump, then you've got a little bit of material there to work with, all right? You can hammer that, weld another nut on it, you can do whatever you want, but it gives you opportunity to get penetrating oil down into these holes here, all right? It's most important, you, then you can warm them up. But the thing is, if you start to bend and twist them, when they're already tight, when that flange washer is against you, you won't get any penetrating oil down them. So you need some way to get it down, and then somehow you might, you'll have to prise it off. I've done it about four or five times in my Land Rover in Korea, but I've never broke a casting. I've bought, I broke bolts, but I've never broke a casting and I've never broke a block. Because then you're into real trouble if you snap a bolt in the block. You have a. I'd rather do it like this and spend half an afternoon <laughs> trying to get those this cover off the studs, rather than trying to drill and tap a bolt out in the situation. Not fun at all. And there's not much room to helicoil. That's my point. All right. So let's get back to this uh, engine. <laughs>